Angry taxi drivers are demanding instant jail time for those found guilty of assaulting cabbies. They're also considering a protest rally after a series of attacks, one of which has left a driver blinded. Three vicious assaults in three days have left four taxi drivers injured. Manbir Singh, the worst, test today revealing he's lost all sight in one eye. His mind is not ready to accept this tragedy. Doctor said it's not working and uh, there is no treatment to regenerate it. And he said sorry. He and another driver were bashed at Henley Beach on Saturday morning after both refused to take five men. Today, police revealed a driver was also assaulted at Port Adelaide on Friday night. It comes after Thursday's stabbing at Theberton, for which a man has just been arrested. Attacking a taxi driver is an aggravated offence. Uh, people who drive taxis late at night shouldn't have to be taking risks. Angry drivers say they feel unprotected. Night time especially. Uh, they want to give up the... The drivers are also angry with the taxi council. They say no one has visited any of the victims in hospital. The spate of attacks could lead to American-style protective shields in cabs. We have to consider every option for safety of the drivers. I hope the law is thrown at these offenders severely and with full prosecution. Drivers are believed to be considering walking off the job in protest. Vicky Schwartz, Nine News. Police have revealed a fisherman who drowned in the southeast wasn't wearing a life jacket. A second man survived after swimming to shore near Port McDonnell. Their five metre boat capsized 600 metres offshore when it was hit by a huge wave around five yesterday afternoon. Researchers later found the body of a 49-year-old Mount Gambia man.